Hi everyone. Uh, today we have a truly special guest joining us. Uh, someone who has conquered one of the toughest postgraduate dental entrance exam in India with exceptional determination and focus. Meet Dr. Shravishi, the proud achiever of All India Rank Five in Neat MDS, a true role model for every dental aspirant out there. Dr. Shravishi Amishra will be sharing her preparation journey, the strategies that worked, and the obstacles she overcame. on her path to this remarkable success so whether you are planning for neat mds or nict or any competitive dental exam this conversation is packed with golden tips motivation that could reshape your whole preparation approach so grab your notebook and get ready to be inspired and let's dive into the success story of dr shravishi mishra journey to all india rank 5 in neat mds welcome to the to- uh, welcome to the channel dr shravishi Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for such a lovely introduction. It's an absolute honor to be here doing this session with you. <laughs> First of all, a uh, big congratulations on your outstanding achievement. Uh, we all students are actually excited to hear all about your experience, and uh, we want to learn as much as possible from your journey. So my first question is that uh, can you introduce yourself from where did you do your BDS and uh, can you also share your neat rank and the total score? Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Dr. Swarvashi Mishra. I'm from Guwahati, Assam, and I did my BDS undergraduation from a uh, private dental college in Bangalore, Raja Rajeshwari Dental College and Hospital. and um uh, my neat score was 748 and i have a all india rank of 5 uh, okay uh so what inspired you to pursue a career in dentistry and specialize in mds dear um to begin with i think uh, like everyone else my first choice was always mbbs but since i didn't have enough score and resources so i got into uh, dentistry um but also i i like painting i'm an artist so i had a soft corner for dentistry and i have loved it since day one since the day we started carving with wax um in the second year we started doing occlusal rims so i started loving dentistry and i'm loving it now so i decided to again pursue mds to get deeper into dentistry and of course mds opens doors to many or more opportunities so i'm looking forward to this journey now so uh, when did you start preparing for neat mds and how did you divide your preparation time like um from uh, the end of final year itself i had decided that i'm going to enjoy my internship days because they are going to be the last year of uh, my college to enjoy so i complete like i fully enjoyed that year and uh, i decided the next year i would take an off and i would prepare properly for neat mds so hence after internship my preparation began uh, i joined a coaching institute uh, the online course uh, cds and um, i i prepared for almost a year um yeah okay uh so which books and online platforms did you rely on the most for theory and mcq practice um i followed the book the dental pulse and uh, also the materials given from the coaching and the app they have so these were the things that helped me the most okay so uh, how did you revise and retain subjects like uh, general pathology pharmacology dental materials effectively uh so i divided my day into uh, like morning slot and evening slot so i had kept the morning slot for all the volatile subjects so that i can revise them more okay. and the evening slot was for the uh, comparatively bit easier subjects like the ones are clinical subjects okay so okay so what was your strategy for solving mcqs daily and how many did you aim to solve per day like uh, in initial days what how many mcqs did you solve and as you came close to the exam how many did you aim to solve every day 
uh, initially my focus was on the theory aspect so that I can clear my doubts, whatever was there. Uh, so my initially uh, MCQs were very less, maybe around 200. And by the end of the preparation, it um, I cannot quote the exact numbers, okay. but um, like 500 to 1000 maybe. Okay. Wow, <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> so, uh, so how did you utilize the previous year questions? And do you still think those are relevant in today's exam days? Uh, yeah, so the questions given behind the dental pulse, as well as the questions that were given in the app um, of CDs, um, those were really helpful to like understand what topics are most important in like neat point of view um, as well as like uh, there were many repeats as well so there were chances to have the questions again so yeah they are quite relevant okay so can you walk us through your typical study day and uh, uh, how many hours did you study and most importantly how did you avoid burnout which is a very common thing that is happening in every student who is preparing for NEET MDS Yes, I can very well relate to that. So, um, as I said, initial days, I used to uh, like make slots, the morning slot and the evening slot. So that used to sum up to five, six hours, not more than that. But okay. at the later stage, like when the exams neared, um, it was like easily, I think, 10 to 12 years, some uh, tw sorry, hours. Uh, okay. Sometimes I was 14 to 15 hours also. Okay. Um, and to avoid burnout, I used to spend time with my family and friends like once uh, like sometime uh, for a week i like once a week i used to uh, keep to spend with them so that i could recharge and like start studying again for the next week okay so uh, did you follow any particular revision strategy like three phase or spaced repetition method uh, during the last months of the preparation um, actually, the coaching that I joined, they, they ha used to have this test regularly, like every Sunday or so. So during that time, I used to revise that subject. So like that, I used to manage the subjects like at least three to four times. Okay. So I didn't use other specific method. And okay. I think that helped me to like revise the subjects. Okay. Um... So uh, did you like uh, prepare, start your preparation of me during your internship? Um, not really. I had bought the dental pulse to get an idea what is there. But okay. uh, my proper uh, preparation was after the internship. So do you have any advice for any uh, interns who are currently preparing for NEET MDS? Like... Uh, if how can they kick start the few subjects uh, during the internship period and if they're planning to take a one year gap after that so what are some things they should uh, definitely complete it during their internship any tips for them yeah so uh, i think they can complete the clinical subjects because as and when the postings um, are given they can finish each subjects that way they can correlate also clinically and um, uh, along with that, some all the other non-clinical or the medical subjects or like our internship is completed, like we have a few months left. So they, they can do it during that time. Or like for some reason, if the results don't come out good, they shouldn't get demotivated. And if they are willing to take a year, they can prepare for a year and give the exam nicely the next year. So... Uh... So what were your low moments during the preparation and how did you stay motivated through them? Um, the like moments of self-doubt, okay. like the thought of, oh, how can I um, crack this exam? I couldn't get through MB, like I couldn't get through need a uh, UG. I couldn't get the MBBS seat. I couldn't get into government seat, college. Same bro. Like, <laughs> I make it this time. But I used to uh, like, do a lot of journaling so i used to write it down whatever wow. thought I used to get so that really helped me and i also used to i tried to uh, meditate daily uh, i think that helped me to calm down during the lows okay so 
coming to the actual exam experience and uh, how was your actual neat mds exam experience uh, were there any surprises or any tricky sections uh, and what advice would you give to students who might be also facing uh, such kind of surprises and tricky sections in the future i think the main aspect is to keep calm during the exam mm -hmm. i mean every exam will have tricky questions okay but the key is to keep calm and get to the main question and what they are asking you what is the point of the question and um try to solve it accordingly okay uh, so what are the three mistakes uh, shouldn't students should avoid during neat mds preparation um the first would be not to make elaborate notes um we have the dental pulse or the dentist whatever the book you are referring to uh, the you can read the synopsis the explanation given behind or if you have some extra points just write it down there i yeah. uh, don't make elaborate notes because at the end of the like when the exams are near there's no time to go through so much of uh, notes and the uh, second would be i think um we should not mug up questions okay if a question is bothering you try finding out in the standard textbooks or wonderful youtube videos are available these days uh, or um any you can like uh, ask any of your seniors your teachers i think anyone will be like ready to help you uh and um, the third mistake would be not doing enough revisions um sometimes we feel oh we know this subjects we know this topic we don't need to revise but i think during the exam when we are going through the exam we tend to forget the silliest the easiest questions the easiest topics so i think we should not overlook any questions and we should um revise all the topics that are um supposed to be revised okay so uh what is your message to need mds aspirants who are really struggling and feeling lost right now um i have been through that path and i know how it feels okay. um all i'm going to say is believe in god believe in yourself believe in your parents um you're going to through so all the best to all the upcoming aspirants Thank you so much, Shavisha Mishra. Uh, this interview was concise to the point, and uh, I'm sure the students who would be listening to this interview would be inspired. Uh, they would also try to avoid the mistakes that you have mentioned and uh, follow the strategy that you have shared. So, thank you so much for taking your time and guiding the upcoming NEET MDS aspirants. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me here, ma'am. It was an absolute pleasure to do this session with you. I mean, during my preparation, I have seen few of your videos, the okay. interviews of yours, and I I never thought I would be <laughs> able to be doing this with you someday. But um, I think my belief in God helped me. So yeah, that's all. Thank you for having me here. We are grateful to have you on this platform.